So the first aspect of pre-analysis is to um, think about the mathematical model that we'll be solving using Fluent. And so here are the governing equations. The continuity equation and the Navier-Stokes equations. And so these are written in, since we make the axis symmetric assumption here, del is in, written in cylindrical polar coordinates. So we have three unknowns, pressure, radial velocity, and axial velocity, and we have three equations, continuity, axial momentum, and radial momentum. And we don't need to turn on the energy equation. And our domain is a rectangle, so since we have no variation in the circumferential directions, our, we have our two independent variables, that is the coordinates, the axial coordinate and the radial coordinate. So the axial coordinate goes from zero to the length of the pipe, and the radial coordinate goes from zero to the radius of the pipe. And note that, you know, in fluent, the, the axial direction is called x and the radial direction is called y. So you have to mentally, um, you know, wherever you see x, you have to mentally uh, think of that as axial. And wherever you see y, you have to think of it as radial. And this shows the boundary conditions. Um, so at the inlet, we specify the velocity to be, you know, whatever uh, value we have, in which case one meter per second. Then typically where the flow goes out, we specify the pressure and that's set to one atmosphere. At the wall, fluent will impose, we have, you know, uh, that both the axial and the radial velocity is zero. And the at the axis, we have that the, the radial uh, derivative is zero for both the velocity and the pressure. Okay, so the second aspect of pre-analysis is think about the numerical solution procedure used to solve that mathematical model. And so um, the so mathematical model is a boundary value problem, governing equations plus boundary conditions. And through the finite volume method, which does a control volume analysis for each cell, it derives a set of algebraic equations. And these algebraic equations are going to relate velocity and pressure at neighboring cell center values. And also, the, these equations, these algebraic equations, are nonlinear because you're going to get terms like velocity squared because of the, uh, the nonlinear term in the Navier-Stokes equations. So to solve the nonlinear algebraic equations, we need to linearize the algebraic equations about a guess value and then solve it iteratively. The third aspect of pre-analysis is uh, our hand calculations. Now, so we have uniform flow coming in. We're going to get a developing boundary layer. They're going to merge, and we're going to get fully developed flow. And in the fully developed region, we can perform hand calculations. Um, and so we can predict what is the velocity profile. It's the classic parabolic velocity profile. Um, that you can find in any intro to fluids textbook. So, and if we write that as the ratio of the axial velocity to the average velocity at any cross section, we get that relation. And and if you write it in in this form, you know you don't get any dip, dependence on the pressure gradient. And we can also calculate what the skin friction coefficient is, and that's going to be 16 divided by the Reynolds number based on the diameter, and that's 0.16 in our case, since the Reynolds number is, is 100. In this slide, you know, we situate the hand calculation approach versus the, um, the fluent approach. So we have a physical problem. We have our mathematical model, which is continuity plus um, 2D Navier-Stokes and cylindrical coordinates plus boundary conditions. And we can solve that those equations directly um, using Fluent, which does a numerical solution, and then we get the velocity field and pressure field and so on. In the hand calculation approach, we have to make an additional assumption that we have fully developed flow. And in that case, we can knock off that term 
in the Navier-Stokes equations, and then, you know, we can do hand calculations and predict the velocity and the skin friction coefficient. So both the hand calculation and fluent are start off, you know, are using the same mathematical model, except that we have additional assumptions in the hand calculation.